not need any of those things. Women are not like men. We're not sparked the exact same way. And because you are- Shut up. If I can taste you from like a mile away, then- Big wiener, attractive. Huge. It does. Good night. <laughs> I'm out. I can't choose to not have a huge penis. Marnie the wing girl. Today, I've got an incredible question. I want to yes. know. What makes a man attractive? Because here's the thing, you've talked to literally like 10,000 women about yes. men, about dating, about attraction. Yes. So you've got insights that I personally don't have. Yes. My gentlemen don't have. No. And so today, you want to talk about I'm gonna give it to them. I've always said this. If you're at a bar and I see a guy walk in, I'm looking at his whole demeanor, not just his, phys his physical appearance. Yes, that does matter. Yes, it does play into it. But I'm looking at the whole package, how he dresses, how he walks, how how he carries himself. And the interesting and wonderful thing about women is that a guy and how he looks can start to shift once he opens his mouth and Ooh. starts talking Ooh. to us. So whether a guy is unattractive at first glance, he can then change himself so let's talk, into attractive. Let's talk first about body language, yes. right? Because body language, Huge. say, I think it's like, what is it, 85%? 85 85% of communication is done non-verbally. That's how you express yourself. So it doesn't matter about the words that you say. And that's the beautiful thing about it. I I can't choose to be six foot two. I can't choose not to have pointy little ears or a big nose. I can't choose to not have a huge <laughs> penis. <laughs> All right. Huge set of balls. You don't even know. What? So <laughs> with nonverbal communicating, you've got control over it, right? Yes. The way that you stand, the way that you carry yourself. Yeah, and you can trick yourself. That's the whole thing, because I know some guys are watching this right now saying, like, I don't stand well. I'm nervous as anything when I'm out interacting with women. The wonderful thing is that if you do open up your body language, you do put a smirk on your face, you do do make good eye contact. That actually tricks your brain to saying, I'm more comfortable now. Relax. The other thing that I want to say, another pro tip is put your phone away. Yes, Barney, absolutely. speak to the gentleman about phones. I mean, I'm not, I, there's nothing to say. Just put it away. Nobody wants to be looking at a guy who is nervously fiddling with his phone. It's unattractive and it's not needed. Emotional intelligence. Yes. You know, a guy that's intelligent when it comes to emotions. Yeah. You know, He's why? He's so sexy. And especially now, this is like the modern age for the modern man. Maybe 30 years ago, it wasn't attractive and sexy. Although secretly, it probably was. Yeah. But now now it is so important for a man to be connected to his emotions and able to to express them properly. It doesn't but mean crying on a woman's it, it, shoulder. Exactly. It doesn't mean crying all the yes. time. It doesn't mean that you've got to be like, you know, oh my God, like always like, yeah. like getting no, it out. Vulnerability, which means that you can express a little tidbit of how you're feeling so that she can see that you have emotions and there's more substance to you. Something that I did, um, you know, was actually go to therapy. One of the things that helped me kind of deal with my issues, because that's another thing that yeah. Is incredibly attractive, right? Yes, I mean. Oh like, my God, a man who wants to understand himself and s can seek help and ask for help, 100%. What about you? You've no, done therapy too. as I've well, done, right? I'm from Los Angeles. I've seen eight therapists. <laughs> but like, the, ha being able to express yourself to somebody else and have them be like non-judgmental, not in your life so that they yeah. know you and assist you in guiding you along the process so you can figure out where your triggers are and how to deal yeah. with things in a better way. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Th therapy is 100% worthwhile. Guys, therapy is not something that we can men do. It's something that strong men yes. do that decide yes. that they truly want to be happy. Mm -hmm. And one of the things and reasons why I'm so proud to have BetterHelp as a sponsor is that it makes it affordable, it makes it accessible, and it makes it more comfortable. You were saying we were talking before this yeah. video. No, you I love them. I, I, I love that they came around. I think it was right, right before the pandemic, but yeah. I love that they are around because so many people do not have access to this information. And now wherever you are, you can use BetterHelp and have them service you. Marnie, you, you should be pitching this. I, I actually should. I love them. I absolutely love BetterHelp. I think they're doing amazing. They work. are doing amazing work. Guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about BetterHelp, and then we're going to come back to talk about attraction. So BetterHelp, I've talked about them a ton of times and I love them so damn much. I use their service, I have friends that use their service, and the reason is because they are the world's largest therapy service. And the cool thing, it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into their network of over 25,000 experienced and licensed therapists that can help you in a broad range of different areas. Now, the way that it works is pretty awesome. There's a special link down below this video. 
If you go through there, you answer a few questions, right, about you and what you're looking for in terms of therapy. And then BetterHelp is going to be able to match you with a therapist that's going to be best suited for you and your needs in order to help you deal with your issues. And then you can talk to your therapist any way that you want, whether or not it's on the phone, whether or not it's video, whether or not it's text, or even chat. And you can message your therapist anytime and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. Now, the one thing you need to understand about therapists, sometimes when you're matched with a therapist, boom, it's perfect right off the bat. But sometimes you gotta try a few different ones. It's kind of like dating, right? To find that perfect person that's gonna be best suited for you and your needs. Which is why BetterHelp allows you to change therapists with no additional charge. Guys, BetterHelp offers you the same level of professionalism, not to mention experience, that you would come to expect with in-person therapy except it's more affordable, it's more convenient, and you're actually getting matched to a therapist that is going to be best suited for you. Guys, I love BetterHelp. I've used their service, my friends use their service, and you are absolutely gonna love it as much as I do. Guys, hit that special link down below. It's betterhelp.com slash alpha M. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash alpha M. I'm gonna have everything linked below. If you go through that link, guys, you're gonna get 10% off your first month of therapy. Bottom line is this, if you are ready to finally be happy, hit the link and take control of your life. Let's exactly. talk a little bit more about some other ways that these gentlemen can attract these spicy Well, yes. that brings up social yes. circles. Social Those things are huge. Yes. That means having hobbies, getting out of your house at least one or two times a week and having nothing to do with your work. That is not getting out of your house. That is doing a job. So you need to get out at least two times a week for something that is either a passion, an interest, or just getting out of your house to interact with people. And having a social community around it's you attractive. is super attractive. Having friends friends is attractive, oh, right? God, yes. It's the halo effect, yes. right? Yes, and it helps you when you're dating because you're not waiting for some girl to text you back. You've got things that you're doing. You're not faking it. You need your own life, and that's yeah. another attractive trait that uh, if... Yeah, I, mean, I agree, I'm right? 100%. Having your own life. One of the most attractive things that a guy can do is not respond back instantly and right back But it's later. hard, Marnie. It is it's so hard. hard. Throw your phone behind the couch and you do not respond back instantly. And it's even better if you're actually out doing something. Because as I said, one of the most attractive things is when a guy said, oh, I was at my ex class, blah, blah, blah. But it's so hard and you want, you, want, you want to respond yeah, like immediately, but that is absolutely not the best scenario no. in terms of you attracting the spicy senoritas. Some other traits, Marnie. What about money? A lot of money guys. Money is attractive. Money is attractive. 100% because money says that this person knows how to get something done, can earn and provide. There is a caveman effect that happens. We still are attracted to the old school ways that are biologically and evolutionary -ish. So what, so I don't even know what that word is, but programmed into us. So we what, want something that can provide. So what I'm hearing you say is it's okay to be a man. It is okay to be It's a man. okay to be a man, Absolutely. gentlemen. There's okay nothing to toxic about it. No, as long as you're not a man who puts down women or belittles women because you are. Shut up. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm ready, I'm ready to you're slap like, you. you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was like, ready? But, all right, so that, talk a little bit about this whole like concept of like toxic masculinity. Like society's gotten a little bit fucked up. Mm. God, Part of my I don't language. I don't know if you want to hear my opinion. I do. I, 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 listen, at the end of the day, I absolutely love men, and the men that this label is hurting the most are actually the good men, not the actual, actual toxic men yeah, that are out there. I love the this. men who are wonderful and caring and kind and can be respectful of women, that is totally scaring them from putting themselves out there because they're afraid to insult, to disrespect, to do anything that could be offensive in any way. Yes. And I think it's. It, preach, think it's sister. Really preach. So I, this could be a whole video. This but could I, be a I, whole I, Video. Very against it, and I think, like I have two sons, it is it is ruining ruining men and how they see themselves. I hundred thousand percent agree, guys. A few other things. I'm I'm just gonna rapid fire. You tell me, yeah. attractive, not attractive, right? Ready? Yes. All right. Nice car. I mean, yes. It, it is. It, 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 but, driving a nice car is attractive. It depends on why you have that nice car. Woo, if you are just using this car to like cover up all the other crap insecurities about you, that you haven't ever yes. dealt with your mommy issues. Yes, exactly. Then it's not attractive. Then you're like a douchebag with a nice car. Right. That's my thoughts. But a clean car. A clean car is amazing. Yes, clean car. You don't need to drive a Lambo, gentlemen. You yes. just got to make sure that ride is clean. Yes. yes all right. Yes, yes. Dressing well. Yes, stylish. Absolutely, yes. But does this mean you need to have all the latest designer clothes? No, absolutely not. You can go to Old Navy, you can go to The Gap, you can go to Banana Republic where we went for our last videos. You don't have to spend a fortune to look good. You just have to wear clothes that fit you properly and clothes that are not from 1984. Boom! Somebody who smells incredible. Yes. 
Yes. But not not too much. Not too incredible. Yes, not too not too incredible. Yes. If I if I can taste you in my mouth. What? Oh, that's a <laughs> What? Maybe that you is want a that good hot thing. Dog. I don't know. No, but if I can taste you from like a mile away, then that's way too much. I like you have like a good smell because they have to get close to you to smell it. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot to put on cologne today. How do I smell? You smell good. Yeah. I told you your office just smells good. A that's whole right. Thing. Of course it does. All right, a few other things. A guy who is I'm trying to think. What are some other intelligent? A few other attractive traits. Ah, oh, being smart. Ooh. And it doesn't mean being smart about this one like, never worked for me. Physics. This it one never worked for me. No, I was always a dumb are. one. No, but you're intelligent and you you have skills and you have knowledge. Knowledge is one of the sexiest things in the entire world because it means that you know stuff and then you know how to do things. So do not be afraid to share what you know to a woman. Don't only share what you know to a woman. You want to have like good back and forth conversation, but knowledge is super sexy, whether it's about music or it's about science or it's about like chess or computer, whatever it is, you want to show a woman that you know things and you're capable of taking in information and using it. But not being a know-it-all. Not being a know-it-all. Yes. All right. Allow her to talk. Also encouraging, right? This is yeah. something else that I think a lot of guys don't realize how important it is to kind of, you know, uplift and, and talk to your, your girl, your guy, whatever yeah. you're into, and just encourage them and let them know that they're smart, that you value their opinion. Yeah. And not talk down to them. I've had so many guys who are like, you've heard of a computer, right? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> sure. yes, I've heard of a computer. Don't talk to the woman as if she doesn't know this stuff. You want to talk from a place of, I'm really excited about this, and I'm going to bring you into this conversation. You're not educating and schooling a woman. You're just sharing the things that you love and that you're knowledgeable about. I love that. Big wiener, attractive. Huge <laughs> wiener. <laughs> Super attractive. No. I mean, the truth is, it doesn't really matter. It does. Can I? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it doesn't matter as much as men think. It matters more about how you use that penis. There are tons of guys who have a huge penis, and because they have a huge penis, they've never actually learned how to use it. Or they're like a one trick pony, like literally a one trick pony, who only know how to do one thing with their penis because they think that the the size of it is what impresses a woman and pleasures a woman, and that's absolutely not true. No? No? I think we need to save the uh, <laughs> the actual the uh, sex advice for the next video. Okay. What do you think? Okay, I'm, in, I'm into that. We'll do a whole video on Oh, this. yeah! We'll get that, that hot dog back out. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I don't know.